Now at five o'clock, two friends were killed after being struck by lightning as thunderstorms swept through the region this week. Wednesday night, the big story on Action News is new information we are learning about the victims killed by an act of Mother Nature. Today, those who knew them say they are heartbroken. The two men were out getting ready for hunting season in Granville Summit when lightning suddenly struck Monday afternoon, killing them both instantly. Action News reporter Katie Castro live outside of the car wash where the victims worked in the Endora section of Philadelphia. Katie. And Rick and Shari, many regular customers are asking where they are, heartbroken to find out what happened. It's a, it's a loss that will be remembered for lifetimes for many people. And Two best friends, 43-year-old Jason Gamba from Havertown and 33-year-old Craig Kelman from Philadelphia, both died in a lightning strike Monday while they were fixing a tree stand with an aluminum ladder for hunting season with two other friends when a rapid storm rolled through, giving the men no time to find shelter. Really nothing that they could have done came out of nowhere. Bob Catelli was on his way to meet the group when he got the phone call and turned around to tell Jason's wife. Jason was like the true definition of a family man. Uh, you know, he loved his family, he loved all of his friends. Uh, and he loved this place. Craig's father says the brotherhood established at the car wash the men opened together was a second family for them. Bobby, of course, Jason uh, meant the world to him. Advice, those guys that they were giving him were, were was uh, insurmountable. It's, it's been pretty rough, you know, I, I, I appreciate it, you know. Now, instead of planning for his future. 33 years old, just a, a life cut short, <laughs> tragically, uh, Accidentally and, and unable to have a proper funeral because of the pandemic, Craig's dad is arranging his next birthday. June 24th, 2021, we plan on doing a, a big tribute uh, in his life. And, and of course, the memory that he left with us all ingrained in our mind. And Jason and Craig's co-owners say they plan to continue to work very hard in honor of their memory. Reporting live in Andorra, Katie Catro, Channel 6 Action News.